Have you ever wondered if you should move out of your hometown in order to expand and grow? I remember when I did it for the first time, I was 19, I was very scared, I didn't want to leave home and my mom thought it was a good idea to try and push me to do it. At that time, I didn't see it. I really thought she was literally kicking me out of the house and I took it very badly. I remember we had an argument. I was lost. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I felt like I was in France and all the jobs I wanted to do were like, they were good, but it was really hard when you listen to people to find a job or they would not pay me very well. And so I was lost because on one end I had you should be doing these jobs that pay well, but I didn't like them. And on the other hand, I wanted to follow my dreams and do what I was passionate about, but they didn't pay. Did internships as a junior journalist. I was a kid still, and we had those internships in order to find out if, you know, it was like kind of like a discovery internship to find out if those jobs were something we potentially would want to do in the future. And I loved it, but then when I was talking to people there, they were like, you're going to eat potatoes all the time, you will be broke, or you might be unemployed, so I would suggest you find another passion and profession. And then I remember I wanted to be probably a dietitian because I love nutrition, so I started to explore that, and the course sounded very good, but then they were like, well, first, not everyone graduates, and then second, most of them really don't get a job after that, they end up doing something else or they struggle to actually make an income from it. Because in France, if you're a dietitian, you're not a medical professional, a nutritionist is. And so I needed to do medicine in order to become a nutritionist and potentially have a proper career. So everything was kind of in the air. I was 19 and my mom thought, why not go to another country, learn English for six months and come back? And at first it was so scary. I never left home. I was very comfortable with my friends. I had a boyfriend at the time. For me, it was like, France is my home. Why would I leave? I'm so happy. Every time we go on a holiday, I can't wait at the end of the holiday to come back home to France, to where I was born. If you ask me today, if I still feel like France is home, I would tell you no. I feel like I'm more of a citizen of the world than I am French. So things have really changed in 10 years. Let me tell you that little did I know at the time that my mom's advice and my mom pushing me so much to get out of my comfort zone and go and explore the world would literally change my life for the better. I'm so thankful to my mom for this. I would have never done it without her from the, from the get-go. So if you've got someone pushing you back home, listen to them. For me, it literally opened me up to an expansion that I wouldn't probably have gotten if I stayed with the same people in the same city doing the same things. I've learned so much, I've grown so much as a person. It led to new opportunities, new friendships, and definitely higher levels of growth for my age. I got into a career straight away. After one year of being in Australia, I started a career in marketing with no degree. I was about to start studying and the company I was recruited by gave me a chance because they thought I was capable, I could speak French and English and to them that was valuable and they were like, we will train you. So you never know what opportunities will arise when you just give it a go and move somewhere else and meet new people and take a chance to do something different. It's really easy to get comfortable with your surroundings, everything you're used to, your favorite coffee shop, your favorite restaurants, your gym, your friendship group. But sometimes we do need to step out of our comfort zone for a bit in order to get to that next step, in order to grow, in order to achieve new heights of personal growth, you know. So without further ado, here are 10 reasons why you should move out of your hometown in order to grow. Reason one, exposure to new experience. Whether it's new foods, new culture, new people, new landscapes, moving out of your hometown to a new place will lead 
to new adventures, to things that are not what you're used to, which in terms mean that you will expand and grow and will broaden your horizons, which will help you grow as a person. Number two, becoming independent. Living away from home can really help you build independence. I remember I was very dependent when I was back home. I would rely on my family for a lot of things. And then when I first got to Sydney, I realized that's it. I need to now take care of myself because if I don't, then who will do it? I'm here alone. I'm so far from home. I've got no other choice, which made me become more mature very quickly. And in insights, I'm so grateful I did this because I took more risks in terms of I took new chances. So they're not probably risks, but they're new chances. I challenged myself to see how capable I was to reach my goals and to build a future for myself alone in a new place. And of course, you need to, you know, make new friends, maybe even learn a new language if you're in a country that doesn't speak the same language as you. Adapt to a different environment, a different culture, different ways of doing things, different foods. It will give you more flexibility. Reason number three for me, career opportunities. I find that sometimes just getting into a new place will give you fresh ideas and you will meet people that may lead to new opportunities. And those career opportunities that may arise if you move may not be there where you're currently living. And it was the case for me. I would have never gotten the type of job I wanted and I got as a marketer at 19 if I stayed in my hometown, which is in the countryside of France. And first you have to study and at least graduate from a master's degree. And second, I would have needed to move to Paris anyway, because where I was, they wouldn't have needed a marketer. Really, leaving may help you upgrade your career or start your career, upskill, and potentially even start a new business. Who knows where the future might take you. Reason four, personal growth and mind expansion. Let me get into that one. So now we know that obviously leaving your hometown will get you out of your comfort zone, helping you to develop new skills, learn and grow. It will help you adapt to change and become more resilient if you experience challenges, which most likely you will. This type of personal growth is crucial if you want to expand and succeed both in your personal and professional life. Reason five, meeting new people. It's awesome to travel because you get to meet new people if you move cities. You have to make new friends because you're not going to stay alone. So you have to get out there, make an effort to go out of your way to meet new people. And that alone is growth. These connections, again, can be instrumental in your personal and professional life. Network is important contacts, mentors, you never know who will cross your path in the new city you might move into. Reason six. So in some instances, the course or education you may want to follow or undertake is not in your hometown. So you might have to move in order to get those qualifications and skills you require in order to achieve your goals and career dreams. It was the case for me, for example, I was looking at studying and my hometown didn't have many of the curriculums that I wanted to undertake. So anyway, I would have had to move to another city at some point in order to study any career I was interested in. And it might be the case if you're looking at, you know, top ranked universities or specialized training programs, which can help you improve your future projects. So don't disregard those opportunities if they're not currently in your hometown. Reason seven, exposure to different cultures and lifestyles. Living in a new place can obviously expose you to different ways of doing things, different lifestyles, ways of thinking, which can broaden your perspective on how you see life and help you become more open-minded and tolerant to other people that may not think the same way 
as you and your friends think. This can help you better relate to people who are not necessarily from your culture and it will help you both adapt in your personal and professional life because you may work with teams that are multicultural especially big companies now they love to hire talents that are from all over the world to give that diversity so it's better for you to learn early on so it can be a real plus when you're looking for a job because recruiters will look for these skills Reason 8. It might be that it will improve your quality of life as well. Some people have had difficulties in their own countries. I know that for example in Argentina at the moment the situation is a bit complicated with inflation and a lot of Argentinians decide to leave their country to get a better future elsewhere and earn more money and be more comfortable and also help their families so they're all safe and also get rewarded for the work that they're putting out there. So moving to a new place really can improve your quality of life, you can get access to better amenities, better education, better health system sometimes, more holidays because if you're in the US and then work for a European company instead of getting 10 days you might get 4 or 5 weeks and you leave. So better quality of life in general, better climate if you're from Canada and you hate the cold. You could move to a warmer place like Mexico where I am at the moment and still work remotely for a Canadian company while being at the beach, which can help make a difference in your levels of happiness and well-being. Reason 9. Overcoming fear. Moving out of your hometown can be a scary experience. I've been there. As I've told you at the start of this video so I get it but it can also help you overcome fear and realize that fear is only in your mind and it's only created by you so it can help you become more confident assertive and less fearful of challenges and setbacks that you may experience in your life once you realize that you're capable to overcome new challenges you will become a more confident person finally reason 10 New adventures, of course. When you move out of your hometown to a new city or country, of course you're going to experience new things. You will have new challenges, new adventures, everything will be new and it will be a way for you to explore, experience and change your everyday routine, which is exciting. You may want to travel around the new city where you're currently staying, getting to know the villages or hiking nearby, the parks, the beaches, whatever may be around, which can be super exciting and fulfilling. If you're ready to take on new challenges, explore and learn new things and explore new horizons, then it's time to move out of your hometown. It might just be the best decision for you. And if not, you could always move back. Anyway guys, it's the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. I upload videos every single week. If you've got questions, pop them down below and make sure I reply. In the meantime, be well, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.